Hey, I'm Monster Crack. Welcome to my video where I will be showing you how I got the platinum trophy for Lego City Undercover. This video contains spoilers. And we start this game off with the character Chase McLean, who is also a cop. And he's back in town to put criminals in jail. Which brings me on to my first trophy, Clowning Around. And you quite literally get this trophy for arresting a bunch of clowns. And speaking of clowns, whoever built this garage must think everyone's a clown. I've heard of pumping your own petrol, but building your own petrol pump is ridiculous. I'm moving on from clowns we go on to our next trophy called grappling with goons not much of an upgrade and it's similar to the last trophy where you have to arrest a bunch of goons this is the type of dedication i want to have while trying to sleep because good lord this man does not wake up <laughs> and i was dedicated to get this next trophy called nothing but net and you get this for playing a mini game and making three shots out of three while playing basketball could have been the next larry bird <laughs> and speaking of being someone this game gives you outfits that let you progress through the game and we're back to the mini games for this next trophy called unbelievable and you get it for completing the bucking bronco game which is just a quick time event and with that randomness done i got my next trophy called from blue to blue bell and i nabbed this trophy by going to prison and rooting through someone's cell and if i had a cell like that i wouldn't mind going to prison <laughs> could you imagine trying to open this dojo every morning and you have to run around the place looking for fireworks to get the key <laughs> and speaking of the dojo while in there i acquired my next trophy called double trouble and how you can earn this trophy is by eating one fella into another fella a couple of times. <laughs> Moving on to the next trophy that I obtained, it was called Chase McLean and you can acquire this trophy by collecting enough enough studs throughout one of the levels in the story. On to the next trophy that I managed to pick up called Kung Fu and Plumbing and acquiring this is easy after using your Kung Fu skills to knock a couple of lads around the place <laughs> even though I'm fairly sure that's a wrestling move. <laughs> on to the next trophy that I grabbed called Chang Chung's Gang and how you land this trophy is by completing chapter 5 and chasing down someone who broke into your boss's place of work and there's no rest for the wicked which gives me my next trophy Vinny's jewels and how you earn this trophy is by breaking into a bank and then stealing a jewel and I figured since we're robbing them blind I might as well do a little work and clean up the bank after myself <laughs> moving on to the next trophy I snagged it was called watch this space and I received this trophy for stealing a moon buggy from a space center if this is the train and astronauts have to go through you can sign me up because this looks like fun I mean it's like a game of Bop it. who wouldn't like that <laughs> but i'd probably be too busy getting trophies like this next one i got called save points and how i captured this trophy was by completing chapter eight which requires you to rescue a woman called natalie who's hanging upside down from a crane this game has some wild things in it like what in the christ does he give them pigs and can i have some <laughs> speaking of mad pigs i go on to get my next trophy called when pigs fly and how you can land this trophy is by completing chapter nine which involves you wrangling up them pesky pigs and bringing them all the way back to the farm after escaping. You know, you may have seen a dragonfly or maybe even a housefly, but I bet you've never seen a farmer fly that's holding on to a chicken. <laughs> Advancing to the next trophy that I managed to get called Exhibit T. And how you can capture this trophy is by breaking into a museum and stealing a T-Rex that you ride out. <laughs> the next trophy I earned, City Protector, wasn't as exciting as the last one, but how I got it is by collecting all four shield pieces in one level. And you get this by doing some random stuff like playing piano. <laughs> humor in this game is honest to god so brilliant progressing on to the next trophy i got called honey and ice cream and you can pick this trophy up by completing chapter 11 which requires you to rescue your friend from an ice cream place and then search it could you imagine wanting to get like a scoop of vanilla and next thing you just see some frozen fella in the freezer <laughs> advancing on to this next trophy i got called build in sight and i got this trophy for completing chapter 12 and to complete chapter 12 you have to steal a crane <laughs> while on the build in sight trying to rob this crane you come across a man that sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger and he keeps quoting his movies at you. I'm curious how many people got the references. Back to Blackwell was the next trophy I snagged and you can gain this trophy by breaking into somewhere and rescuing someone who's held hostage and the rescue did not stop there which led to my next trophy ultimate protection and how to obtain this trophy is building four satellites to protect the people of Lego City. This trophy City Savior was probably the coolest trophy in the game and I say that because of the way you have to earn this trophy and you earn it by fighting a dinosaur in a mech suit while in space. Moving ahead onto the next trophy I got. It was called You're a Legend. And you're a legend if you like this video. And you can earn this trophy just by going through all the levels once again and getting Lego City Hero. And the next trophy, Shield Collector, is very similar where you have to go through all the levels and collect all four pieces of the shields. Some things in the levels were a pain in the ass like this one. This took too long to figure out for me. The next trophy I managed to bag 
bag was called Mr. Gold. And to bag this trophy, all you have to do is collect 4 billion studs. That sounds like an awful lot, but you do get to use a stud multiplier to collect, so it wasn't too bad. The next trophy that I arrived at was called Daredevil. And how you can obtain this trophy is just by simply going from a jetpack into someone's care, giving them the fright of their life. <laughs> the next trophy doesn't frighten everyone, but it might frighten a few because it's called Scandal. And how you land this trophy is by listening to 20 conversations with the audio scanner. And listening to these drove me daft because they spike the audio so high for them and I don't know why. Making my way onto the next trophy, I managed to get called What's in Store. And you can acquire this trophy by going into this Lego store and building all the stuff they have in the boxes. FYI, don't open boxes and try to build Lego in the shops. They don't like that. And now I'm buried. And the next trophy I got is funny and random all at the same time. It's called Pull the Lawnmower Over. And this trophy is quite easy to get. You just have to be Rex Fury and drive a lawnmower. I did this while in a park. Could you imagine walking through the park and all you see is some cop running through an obstacle course for kids. And moving on from that, the next trophy I got was called Secret Shields. And to acquire this trophy, you have to build five shields around Lego City. And after building them, you even get to see a little dance. You don't build things for this next trophy called Sculpture Vulture. In fact, how you get this trophy is by finding five of Rex Fury's sculptures and destroying them throughout Lego City. And this leads to another trophy where you have to collect things called Cheat Chief. You get this for collecting all the red Lego bricks throughout the levels and in Lego City. Pushing on to the next trophy, which was called Top Cop. And to pick this trophy up, you have to complete all cop challenges throughout the city. And there's only two challenge types. One of them is chasing down criminals in a car and the other is chasing down criminals on foot. The next trophy, Crime Wave, was on the opposite end, where you have to complete all crime challenges throughout LEGO City. And there's only two challenges in this as well. One is stealing cars, and the other is breaking up ATM machines, even though I have four billion studs. This next trophy, Firefight, is very similar to the last two, where you have to complete fireman challenges throughout the city. And once again, there are only two challenges, rescue cats and put out barbecue fires. <laughs> the very dangerous barbecue fires. I nab the next trophy, construction completion. And for the first time, I have to do two challenges around LEGO City to have gotten this and they are using the Kango to drill up the ground and most importantly taking a well-deserved break. The next trophy I acquired is a bit misleading it's called Minor Accomplishment. It was actually a big accomplishment but for this trophy you have to complete two challenges around Lego City which are blowing up statues of Rex and using a pickaxe to destroy boulders. We're back with the farmer to get this trophy called Focused Farmer and this is for completing all the farmer challenges around Lego City. There's only two types which were shooting pigs out of a cannon and water and flowers. <laughs> They're like the polar opposites. And Astronaut Ace was the last trophy I had to do where I had to complete two sets of challenges around Lego City. And they were chasing down aliens and planting a flag in certain spots around the city. Moving on to the next trophy I got, it was called Super Builder. And you acquired this trophy by making big builds around the city, which can range from helipads to giant statues and a few things in between. And speaking around the city, this ties into the next trophy called Free Run Done. And how you can score this trophy is by completing all the free run tasks they have set around the city. Marching on to this next trophy called Speedster and you acquire this trophy for taking part in races around the city. And then races range from racing on land and even racing on water. I then managed to get one of the most tedious trophies in this game called Super Compooper. <laughs> and you get this trophy for doing what I mentioned previously but also collecting disguises and then buying them and discovering vehicles and buying them as well. Imagine you couldn't buy something until you found it out in the world. You also have to collect 450 gold bricks. Some of them you can buy and others you have to find them out in the world by doing various things. The next trophy up was called Building Model Citizens and you can acquire this trophy by using custom characters in all eight slots at the same time. Moving forward to the next trophy it was called Wacky Taxi and you can obtain this trophy by doing 10 jumps in a taxi with a passenger in the back. It can even be the same jump over and over again. While in the taxi I figured there was no better time to get the next trophy Flash Car and you use the car to start driving through things on the street until you get a bonus of a multiple of five and this next trophy still involves care and it was called steel surfer and to obtain this trophy all you have to do is just stand on top of a car for 30 seconds the next trophy that i managed to get my hands on was called fusellini twist and you can acquire this trophy by going to the top of the fusellini tower and sliding down his handrail and this looks like so much fun but i just know i'd fall right at the start and since we're talking about fun this leads on to the next trophy i got called fairy's fair and to get your hands on this trophy you have to ride all four of the super Super build fair rides. And then the second last trophy that I managed to get was called True Tourist. And you can acquire this trophy by visiting all 10 stone statues around Lego City. I'm only going to show a few here, the rest you're going to have to find yourself. And of course, I get
get the platinum trophy for this lego city game and for the rating of this game i give it about a 2 out of 10 it's not that difficult but it does get very repetitive so if you don't like that you shouldn't probably go for this and so this brings it to the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed i hope to see you in the next one and take care